Thank you all who have recently subscribed to this channel. And for those of you returning, I apologize for being absent recently and not making very consistent videos. I'm kind of going through a life transition and moving, so that process has kind of put me behind in creating any type of videos. Today's video is in tribute of the very lovely and inspirational Carla Fracci, who unfortunately recently passed May 27. She was adored by many worldwide, and I received a comment on one of my videos requesting that I make a video about her. I'm really happy that this request was made because prior to making this video, I wasn't fully aware of who Carla Fracci was or her work. And so in the process of making this video, I got to discover this incredible legend of a ballerina, and I've absolutely loved watching all of the old footage of her dancing. Carla Fracci was an Italian ballerina and one of the greats of the 20th century. It is said that she secured a larger appreciation for ballet in Italy during her time performing through the mid-century. Known for her ability to dance the classics with supreme grace, floating across the stage, she also became well known for her intense dramatizations of characters. She became a worldwide name after leaving La Scala Theatre Ballet and traveling the world to work as a freelance ballerina with top companies including the Royal Ballet in London, Stuttgart Ballet, Royal Swedish Ballet, and American Ballet Theatre, just to name a few. Her acclaimed artistry was often matched by some of the world's greatest partners including Mikhail Baryshnikov, Eric Ruhn, Rudolf Nuriev, and Vladimir Vosiliev. Wow, look at how fast she turns. An exquisite technique. Oh, I love, I love her facial expressions and enthusiasm in this role. She might be my favorite Giselle after this video. I can definitely see how she was iconic in this role. Oh, she's beautiful as Julia. Look at how she just relinquishes herself to him. Even in black and white, the passion of their love comes through. Ugh. And she's so committed to the character and this free freedom of being young and being in love that you almost don't even notice how beautiful her technique is but when you pay attention to the little aspects I mean she's so beautifully placed in all of her pirouettes her footwork's lovely But overall, I just feel like I'm watching a story more than anything. I can't stop. It is no surprise to me that some of today's ballerinas found so much inspiration in her. Like, I'm so happy to have discovered her because she truly is such a magnificent storyteller. Oh, just that breath, even just on the demi point. I can see the breath. Hit that mark. Oh, beautiful. I'm not sure many people realize, but this arabesque is so difficult. A ponche and third arabesque with a promenade is really, really hard. She made it look effortless. I 
what I love so much is that unlike in today where most modern ballerinas can get their leg to their ear no problem back during her time that wasn't always the point I mean she got her legs she had beautiful extension of course but it's more about the expression and the line through the whole body than it is about just how high her leg goes and she makes every position look so beautiful by how much she's reaching through and just the movement of her upper body is stunning. It really is lovely to watch. The way she suspends her movement really kind of catches her breath. The beauty of great artists such as Calafracci is that when they pass, they forever live on in the memories of the audiences that they touched and the upcoming artists that they inspired. I honestly find it so beautiful that her life's work has made it to me through the transference of other artists. So many ballerinas that I'm currently inspired by actually looked up to Carla Fracci during her prime time as someone who inspired them. Mathilde Frosty mentioned in an Instagram post, quote, She was my idol and inspiration for Giselle. She was my dream Giselle, end quote. Dancers such as the great Alessandra Ferry recognize Carla as, quote, The artist to whom, like many dancers of my generation, looked up to as an inspiration, end quote. Upon Carla's passing, Ashley Bowder reminisced, quote, I remember standing in that tiny side studio day after day watching her live the mad scene, tears running down her face as she slipped into character and showed me how to do the same. She was the prima of primas, ballerina assoluta, end quote. Ballet legends pass down their wisdom and passion through each coming generation, and in this way their spirit is eternalized through the soul of dance. I honestly find that to be such an enchanting concept and reality. Not only did Fracci ignite her own audiences with her passion, but through her mentorship and teachings, the drama she possessed on stage still shines through in contemporary performances of the classics she was known for. Thank you, Carla Fracci, for sharing your art with the world. Your passion and depiction of characters have moved so many throughout the years and your legacy will only continue with generations to come.